Welcome to Steel Plays Galaxy Jersey. This is Grand Arena, the second match, second week, season 30. We are technically in Kyber 2, although in any meaningful sense, this is Kyber 3. It's nice that we've moved up to Kyber 2 already because we get some extra crystals. But the brackets was set up based on Kyber 3 at the start. Looking at my current opponent, Torres, and the rest of the possible winners that we could see in round three, Dan, Stargazer, and Take here. Stargazer being the most likely one with six GLs. My opponent has three GLs. Relic units. He's got a good amount at 113 with Stargazer at 136. In terms of depth, Torres is a respectable amount, but not anything great at 143. Stargazer almost close to me at 191. I've got 203. With the six dot mods, my opponent has more. Stargazer has a ton more, but the quality of the mods, mine are better. And I just I have better quality and more of a count. Stargazer is much closer to me. This is why I'm expecting to see him. In terms of Datacrons, my opponent has a good amount, but most but no level nines, mostly in the six to eight range. We're looking at JMK, JML, and SOKR Stargazer with all of them all modded well. Neither of them have Melgus or Starkiller, although Take does have both Starkiller and Melgus. So he does have a pretty competitive roster that, depending on how things play out, maybe he's the one who comes out on top in that match. Rest of these characters are modded fairly well. My opponent has no Radis or Aiden. Really, there's no excuse not to have items these days. You can use a low gear one. Maul is fine. No Moff Gideon. That's another character that there's just no excuse not to have. He's easy to gear, too good. Especially in the Kyra levels. The rest of the mods are fine. Everyone's got an Executor at this point for the most part. Let's jump over looking at his account and we will take a look at the hotbot. Just gonna take a quick look at his speeds to get a little idea of what we're working with. 295. Oh, I, went, I clicked inside. Seven point six million GP with his speeds. His echo is at like two ninety five. So his Darth Revan's at two ninety six. So his three hundred speed characters. Just a mix. Some of these characters don't matter all that much. Let's jump over to the hotbot. Guild size is smaller than mine. We are looking at a player who has got a good amount of clears, not a lot of undersizes. Respectable amount of Zetas for the number of GLs he has. Sensible amount, it means he, he has a little extra and everything else he needs. Six stop mods we already looked at. He's got a large count on a lot of these, but I beat him out. With his relics, it looks like he has a ton of relic sevens, a good amount of relic eights and a lot of Relic 5s. So he could be putting down some pretty strong teams. 
quick glance at those with the rest of these key characters again no Malgus I've got speed advantages on a number of characters he's got the advantage on cat though all right let's jump in here he does have a sign of Django that's nice you don't see that all that often looking at his defense I actually haven't did I double check his defense? So he's already attacked. He got a good amount of banners. That's a respectable amount. He did get tripped up a little bit on the front territory. The Grievous team got tripped up and he got tripped up with the Zam Omicron on Bosk. Everything else was one shot. One shot. Ships included. So because he got tripped up on the Grievous, I think he did make a change from his history. So his all these teams were teams that I saw, but in his Grand Arena history, he does a bad batch. But when my Grievous gets holds, usually means they've attempted to beat my Grievous with bad batch. So I think maybe he didn't set it on defense this time. But we're looking at Qui-Gon with an level 8 Omicron. I'm surprised that he doesn't have Omicrons on his Night Sister squad. If you're gonna have a Night Sister squad like this, you gotta put that put a Night Sister Omicron on. I wouldn't relic Night Sisters, but it's other than Ventress and Daka, obviously. We're looking at Mon Mothma and Geo's fairly easy comps to deal with. And then down below, we're looking at Bosk and Maul. Only one Datacron, and it's a level 3 Datacron, so not too much to be concerned about. No Omicron on Zam, so we don't need to be that worried, but we do have the Relic 7 sign of Django on that Bosk squad. But we have, we'll have plenty of weaponry to throw at it. The one Omicron that I haven't dealt with before is the Akbar Omicron. I'm pretty sure this is my first time. Rest of this, though, I've laid out my strategy. I've got a plan. I think we're going to do some damage this day. On the back wall, I'm expecting Ewoks and Dash. Bad Batch could be there, but I think... They were used on offense, so there's going to be something else there that I'm not anticipating, is what I'm really thinking. I think we'll take this top to bottom. I'm going to play this kind of fast and loose, because I think I have more than enough firepower, so I don't think I need to take too many chances. What I will do is, I think this might be the best matchup for Melgus testing. Although I should do Sith, so that I can select Talon as well. And we're not going to use Malak actually. Which means I'll put in Sith Empire Trooper. And this is because Malak I want to use for a solo later. Can't use Datacrons anyway without a Relic Melgus, but I will have Melgus at Relics for next week. Let's jump into this. With Melgus, we got plenty of weaponry around him. He's, his lead is just going to make them so much tankier. I think with Doubt, I'm going to want to put that on Candorous if I get the chance to, yep. Yeah. Because that's going to stop him from gaining bonus turn meter. I think Maul's just too good of a weapon to have on defense at least in 5v5 and 3v3 I think it makes sense and this is not the comp bam I think would make a little bit more sense <clears throat> yeah I don't want to because if they already have shock yeah, I'm just going to use a basic. I don't feel like using that ability unless I'm hitting somebody with shock. Now at gear 12, Melgus does not have 
enough firepower to really take anyone else, to take anyone out. But I don't think that's all that necessary because we have plenty of other weaponry around them. They can do the damage. He's bringing the tankiness. Which is why if you don't have Relic Melgus, then I would put... I like him on defense. Because he draws out a good team or you can bait your opponent into using a weaker counter and then they can mess up. I don't think I'm going to get a choice. I'm just going to have to... You can see doubt spreading. Yeah, let's keep doing it. Sith Empire Trooper is being plenty tanky, even though he's gear 12 and recovering a lot of protection. He was almost out at one point. I just am never... I need to just stop talking and pay attention. I'm running out of time. Alright, I'm just going to have to use this ability... Helen might save me here because I'm, I'm she just did some crazy damage this is getting ridiculous I need maybe we'll do an AOE with trooper maybe we take out armor I'm getting very worried about the clock Um, I am actually going to do this because I want fear on Maul so he can't pummel me with damage. Uh, no, I should have done the AoE. Because then no one would be recovering as much health because Bo would be gone. Oh my god. I need to take out Bo. Oh my god. I gotta hit auto. If I can't take out Bo... I needed Malik. With m fine, 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 fine. Too much talking. Way too much talking. I'm going to still stick with the plan as if that worked. That's a thing where I need my relic and I needed to have been more focused earlier on the clock and understanding how much recovery that they were dealing with. Because Malik would have given me some key things that I was missing. And healing immunity would have been one of those things.
I don't like any of these. useless on them. I'll take this for the crit damage and health steal. None of this is going to matter. If I would just would have hit auto earlier, we would have been fine. I just made a number of poor decisions. All right. Without the Omicron, this we got a number of other ways we can go. Five stacks of English. But you can also see from that mall encounter why I like even a gear 12 or even a gear 11 Malgus on defense. They weren't doing anything to me. It was... But there was a little limitation in the damage that I could do, which makes them a little less viable on offense, but still great on defense. And it still requires a certain team to take them out. I can just auto, I'm even paying attention to what I'm doing right now. Next step is gonna be what? I got uh, Generate Revan and Malik is my plan. I don't want to take anything too good to clean that up. I'd just like to take him out. Let's get the stealth. Fine. Take out Quill now. His Quill's really fast, and I'm not. I've, I've maybe it's just because he's has a high base speed or something, but I don't know. A lot of people have fast Quills, and maybe I need to look into why, because it doesn't seem to matter all that much to me.
And now the whole reason why I kept Malik and neutered my Melgus attempt where I th we would have fear would have been a really nice thing to have. Oh, we did have fear, but more fear. Also, I think I want maybe I'm going to put higher relics on on Talon. Talon did great. Yeah, Han's the most annoying one here. This really seems like you gotta have both Omicrons, which is why I've stayed away. And the fact that it can still be solo just doesn't make it worth two. It would make it worth one. But you can't have two Omicrons and be soloable. Let's go with Rello, because Leia's just going to stealth again. Just getting rid of the annoyances, making our way through it. Totally worth it. I more just misplayed the Melgus than anything. All right. See, I have plans for a lot of these characters. I just don't want to mess around. I'm going to star killer it. Which means I've got a squad for this. Oh, that's where my old, where I use old Ben. You know what? I'm gonna hold on to Mace. Just in case there's a surprise in the back. I'll use Juhani and let's move on. Give me some stuns before this gets bad. Come on. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. OK. 
Okay. Let's do basic, maybe we take out bow. Good. Dash, Phasma's the new one. Phasma's not one I saw. All right. We will nest. Data crown because we have them. Sure, we'll do it for the health steal. Maybe no, I should have done one with. T mm, let's check the potency on this. Let's do, let's, let's find some tenacity. There's a little extra tenacity. Did I sell those? Did I not save one? All right, never mind. I'm just going like this. Let's just do it. We'll take out Scout and okay, we got two of them. Let's see if we can get rid of Elder before the revive. And take it. Trip Omicron is so worthless. For the Trip Omicron to be worth anything, it would need to be able to stop in Nest Solo. Just check what this is. Who cares? That doesn't make any sense for them. This should be a bad batch. I'm really looking forward to this new season of Bad Batch. The trailer was great. He didn't have that many 300 speed characters and with this combination of First order, I knew no one was going to outspeed me. Plus I fixed the mods on my tech to make him go fast enough after Echo. That, that was a mistake I was making where I had, my Echo was fine, but my tech wasn't. I'm going to throw the target practice on Kylo, because that's going to be the annoying part. Let's do a buff immunity on him too. I just know Echo's damage is going to take care of the other characters, so I'm not focusing on them. Uh, 
battle, sure. Love the bad batch. I'm gonna just blow this up with JMK this month. I was originally gonna use Star Killer here, but I had no designated use for JMK, so that's what's gonna happen here. Maybe we'll even undersize it. Why not? Let's move on. I need I need a more datacrons. I'm glad they made the datacron changes, but it's they solve issues with datacrons datacrons as they stand, but they're not it doesn't fix them. I just not a fan. Um, I'm going to use that on Nest. Um, there, yeah, there's no Vandor here. What, what is... Now up top, I got um, I got options. We're gonna do some solos. <coughs> Excuse me, and some other stuff. Uh, Qui Gon, we are gonna just JML it because JML negates the Omicron and makes it easier. And without the Omicron mattering, the Datacron doesn't matter. So let's um sure Mace. Close, sure. Sure. God, I'm gonna have a root. I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a gear eleven Canaan soon, I know it. Wait, do I not have a plan for Jedi Luke? I have no use for Jedi Luke. Well, there's probably another solo I could have done. Uh, we'll use Shock T. Just, sure. Let's just move, let's move on. Move along. Let's increase cooldowns on Anakin. We'll dispel mace. Oh, well, fine. Oh, I should have targeted Barris, so I would have had the turn.
God, why am I playing this? This match, I'm just... And the last match. You can just see how... My roster is too much for Kyber 3. For the majority of Kyber 3. Next round, we will have a challenge. This is more of a thing where I'm going to be beating myself. And he doesn't have the Omicron Adventurous. He really should have the Omicron Adventurous. I'm a little worried I might be being foolish here. Oh, I was going to put that... No. Do I care about that? I kind of like all these other stats. And we're not going to use Jedi again, so let's just take that. There are still enough high relic characters, there's some risk of stuns. Get rid of the damage threat. Now I might be foolish here. Can I just Vader this? I just don't trust my Vader as much, and that might just be foolish. Take it just in case they take turns, that should help. This is a I don't even know why I'm second guessing myself. I should probably just check speeds. Chuck it at Spy. Chuck it. Not a fan of the stagger. Do that. Come. Love it. I will be going after that Vader data ground. So, uh, how many, I didn't even count how many this, this was. It's like five? Without a relic on Katarn, this is not as... This isn't the same thing.
Uh, let's just hit auto. Who cares? Let's move on to fleet. The fleet defense he sets is going to be weak. Uh, second episode of She-Hulk was pretty good. I feel like... I feel like not enough is happening in the episodes. I feel very dissatisfied when the episodes end because of how little has occurred. I almost want like another episode or for them to be longer. Or just make the scene shorter and fit more in. That's, I'm, I'm enjoying the show. That's, that's hardly a complaint to be disappointed that I'm not getting enough of it. We just gotta ramp up the damage. We gotta get to a point where the AoEs take out Mon Mothma. Can I... That's better. Oh, I feel like walking away and just coming back in two minutes. Take out, yeah, correct. So close. Next time we'll be taking out my Mothma. That Zeta on Cardoon with the potency up was a non issue before Kyle Katar. You know what? I could have soloed that Phasma team with Jen and Luke. We could have got another solo in. I would I would have realized that had that been part of his history, it would have been part of my planning. But alas. I should treat that as a warning, but I'm not. Mace? Maybe I should have left this on defense. The uh, profundity I'll have the second time around. That's when my rat, my Admiral Radis will have been farmed up. I feel, 
Did this get extra loud? What's going on here? I forget how good his second sister is. Uh, there's a target lock, so that's not going to go away. Let's bring out Slave 1. Take out Palpatine while we've got the shot. I wonder what this relic second sister is going to do to my fleet. I think what I've been noticing, the chimeras, players have adjusted. They understand that the chimera with the second sister is a threat. So I'm, it's not getting the same amount of holds as it was getting a couple weeks ago, a couple seasons ago of Grand Arena. It just makes it nice that we're getting the profundity, but it's uh, going to be a month before I get it. I have everything in terms of the gear in place. It's just that farm. Yeah, it's stun bigs. You know what? I'm not going to do it this time. Because the buzz droids always get dispelled when you get four debuffs. That's what I've always done in the past. And I've always... Just like doing it. Outrider, okay. He kept everything for offense. Executor, Malevolence, Negotiator. Oof. Okay, last one. And this is a nonsense fleet. This is too finalizer.
take it out. Does he not have Radis? Radis would have been better than whatever this is. And the the damage is why I need to have a five star and a five star relic Kylo Ren. I'm just feeling bored. This is something I've, I've wondered about. The way this times out, you always have to choose between hunted or reinforcement. I don't know what's the better call with the finalizer. There we go. Nice. Pretty good banner result. Could have been better without the Melgus stuff, but I still think I could have won with that Melgus had I shifted to auto sooner just played a couple things a little differently and next time we'll have a relic melga so it would have worked at that stage definitely but i i've I, this is the weekend now there's some videos i think i'm gonna work on try and start filling in a lot more of those holes uh be safe out there everyone be excellent to each other this is still plays galaxy of heroes